Good morning guys and welcome to beautiful Kotao. We have been here already for a few days and we are absolutely loving it. Kotao is a tiny little island located on the western shore of the um, Gulf of Thailand. It is very famous for its marine life, for its crystal clear blue water and white sand. To come here we took a boat. The trip is a little bit uh, difficult. We're waiting for our ferry here. A bit of a small boat for so many people but we'll make it. We just made it to our first stop which is Kopangan. It's where they host the full moon party. It happens once a month and it gathers thousands and thousands of people. So if you're into party and like beach festival, you should come here. Every ferry that goes to Kotao stops quickly at Kopangan. There are some ferries that stop quickly and then go directly to Kotao. And we uh, catch a boat to Kopangan and then we needed to wait 30 minutes and then we to get another boat to go to Kotao. But we are waiting now for one hour and there is no boat. Do you think this boat is coming or what? Of course it's coming, but in Thailand they have a different uh, concept of concept time. Of time. <laughs> when is this boat coming? We finally made it to our boat some hours later. Now it's still like one hour and 15 minutes more or less until we get to Kotao. It was a horrible trip. I really felt so so bad. It took us around 1 hour and 15 but we finally made it to Kotao. So if you have seasickness I will definitely recommend you to take something to help you with that. Once you arrive, you arrive in paradise and you will not regret it. We are now exactly between Tattoo Beach and Freedom Beach. You pay a fee of 50 baht per person and you have access to actually both. And it's really nice because you have a good beach support, you have toilets, restaurants, they provide you also with some sun beds. It's a very, very beautiful beach. The water is very clear, even on a day like today, it's not that sunny. It's very, very beautiful. Now for a drink, a fresh coconut at this restaurant at Freedom Beach. And you can do fish watching from here. I really like it. It's very small. Uh, there are not that many beaches, but and most beaches that we saw are very beautiful. And the food is very good. It's much, and it's even cheaper than the other islands. It's cheaper than Koh Samui. Trying to get to this viewpoint not to see the sunset. Steep. It's pretty steep. If you check, you cannot come with the scooter because it's too steep. So we're walking up here, but it already looks very, very beautiful. Nothing for flip-flops. Looks pretty nice. A lot of nature. I've heard that there are quite some snakes on this island, but nothing that can kill you. So, so. It's better to walk like this. <laughs> Bruna likes to walk with this. It's you think easier. It's I think we have arrived. We need to climb now this ladder to go up there. Good morning and hi everyone. Today we are going to a breath work and an ice bath with Tony. Yeah, hi Tony. And I'm gonna film the experience. So we just did the breath work now. Tony, how was it for the breath work? Very, very relaxed. Very relaxing. Very relaxing. At, at some point I felt like my body was stiffening up a little bit, like getting stiff. But then at the end I, I felt so relaxed. Now I'm really curious if we can stay in the ice bath for like two to three minutes. Ice bath can help your muscle to recover faster, it reduces inflammation and improve your breathing. And it can also improve your mood. There are a lot of athletes that use ice bath to recover faster and better. <laughs> we 
are now walking down the path to the, this Tanot beach and I would love to take some drone shots here. Oh, a snake! Whoa. Oh, beautiful snake. Very green, huh? This is this Tanate beach. There are a lot of people snorkeling, so I guess there is a lot to see. But for a beach, it's a little bit crowded. Okay, now for a late lunch. At this area, they have many nice restaurants and bars. It's very nice during the day and also during the night. We tried already some very good restaurants here. There is one that's very, very famous. It's called Roasted Duck. I'm gonna write it down here. We went there yesterday for dinner and my God, I don't even eat meat and I made an exception. And believe me, it was worth it. It's so, so good and so cheap. We also went uh, to another one here to eat uh, like a barbecue, like fresh fish and salad, very, very good. And after lunch, we have our first day. It's our like introduction day at our diving school. I am a little bit nervous, I have to say. I'm not nervous, I'm not scared, but uh, I have respect <laughs> from it because I know it can uh, there can be accidents if you are not uh, focused and, and if you don't uh, listen what they say. So we should take it serious because you go under the water until 18 meter. So yeah, I'm very excited for that. Yes, I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm also very excited because you know what? This trip is also about trying different things. And what they say, they say if it doesn't scare you, it's not big enough. So here we go. We are trying this new restaurant and we ordered, well, I said I was going to eat a salad and then I arrived here and I ordered a pasta vongole. But in my defense, it looked so good that I couldn't resist. And Yannick is eating a crab fried rice, also looks very good. Food has been amazing so far here in this island. Everything that we tried was so good. Uh, from like uh, healthy bowls to roasted duck. Very good. Ah. Thank you. Four hours of boat or something. We're discussing where we go next, guys. <laughs> you know, when it's you. Not that easy. Yeah, when you don't have a fixed plan. I think we never talked about it, right? Like what we are yeah. doing. So we decided to travel for three months around Asia and we decided we will start with Bangkok and then we would go to Koh Samui, Koh Phangan and Koh Tao where we are now but then we just have like some nice places we would like to visit some ideas we have uh... yeah but no like fixed plan so uh, let's catch up because last time I told you we were going to the diving school so we started today the diving course consists of three days you do two days of theory first day is like a theory classes during the morning which we did today and then in the afternoon you go for a dive um, and then second day classes the theoretical exam and then dive in the afternoon and then the third day is just diving and the difference between what we are doing and just like going for a scuba dive is that when you just try scuba diving you can only dive until like five meters more or less and what we are doing it means that we can go diving anywhere in the world after this course until 18 meters which is already a lot to be honest i don't want to don't want to do more than that the island is pretty much famous for the diving experience the marine life and everything they have uh, more than 30 diving schools we pay 250 per person to do the diving course and I think it's the one of the cheapest places in the world oh, it's the cheapest it's the cheapest place in the world to do it because if you would do like in a place in Maldives how much would it be I would say around a thousand yeah. probably so you see that's what also why we are doing here and I told you I was a bit nervous and all but it went quite well we were discussing why do we have fear the other day at lunch 
and we got to the conclusion that part of our fears um, is because um, we get it from other people or other people's experience and the other part is that it's because it's our surviving instinct so that's why trying it's always a good thing because you can anyways try if you don't like it it's fine but at least you know how it is you try it and then you can just say I don't like it now we are here in the street of the restaurants and we are meeting a friend uh, Tony After the show, we came to get some ice cream. Tony, say hi to Portugal and the rest of the world. How? How are you enjoying uh, Kotam? Amazing. I met you two lovely people made it even better. Ah, uh, we didn't pay him for this, guys. <laughs> Good morning. So yesterday after the show we came back to the hotel because our diving uh, lessons start every day at 8 a.m. Tomorrow it's actually at 7, so we need to wake up early. And now we are on our way to our school. Open more day to the keys to open this very little. Okay, don't go live. Going now for the exam. Yeah. The written exam. What? Fast? <laughs> We're about to dive! Very good, Alfred. I'm going to have Biggest dive ever! So we are about to go for the dive and there is a queue to go down there's actually a rope that we need to use when you go on an open water uh, open sea dive spot so we need to wait to help you to not go down so fast right? yeah. perfect. perfect this is our dive structure so we finished the first dive 18 meters Woo, open water and we're about to get on the boat. Ready for the second dive. And your favorite students are? Yannick and Bruna! Yeah. Of course, thank you! <laughs> Best open water ever! T-shirt time! When you finish the open water, you also get offered this nice t-shirt. And now we're gonna take a picture. We are now at this beautiful place to watch the sunset. This is it for this vlog. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget please to subscribe to our channel, comment down below, tell us what you think about these videos and thank you so much. See you in the next vlog. Bye!